today's goal killer is a doozy because the most dangerous part about this goal killer is that you probably don't see it or notice it, but it impacts what you do, the life that you live, and and honestly, other people will probably see it in you. Let's explore this goal killer in today's episode. This is the Enjoy Life Podcast. If you feel overwhelmed or stuck and you want to break free so that you can find your power to take action to achieve your goals and enjoy life, then you're in the right place. Welcome, my friend. I am glad that you're here. My name is Nick Maisie, and it's my desire to be your guide through this material so that you can choose your mindset, goals, and actions so you can guide your life to go in the direction that you want to go and enjoy it. Now let's dive right in. Welcome to episode 168 of Joy Life Podcast. I am glad that you're here. You know, we're, we're in the middle of this goal killer series. And I think, I think talking about goal killers is so important because they stop the progress that, that you can be making. And, and oftentimes, they're things that, that we, like I, I don't see them in my life as much because I'm living my life. And, and you might not see them in your life because, well, you're just living your life and sometimes it's that whole forest from the trees thing where sometimes it's difficult to see what's right in front of you because it's all around you. So I want to highlight some of these goal killers for you so that you can identify them. You can you know, kind of beware of, of them. You can avoid them. You can overcome them because you'll know that they're there just because we're talking about it and we're kind of walk through how they might impact uh, your life but and how they might impact your ability to guide your life to go where you want it to go. Well, as this whole uh, podcast is about is helping you to do that, helping you to, to claim the power that you have to, to guide your life, to take action, to, to make it what you want it to be so that you can enjoy life. I want you to enjoy your life, and I want, I want you just to knock out these goal killers, overcome them, and send them far, far away from your life. So if you're ready to, if you're ready to overcome this goal killer, if it's one of the things that might be holding you back, then let's dive into today's episode. We're just, I'm just going to start off by telling you something uh, about me. Now you might know this. You might already know this about me. Have you seen any pictures of me? Uh, I wear glasses. Well, you might not know that uh, because sometimes I wear contacts and you might not see those in the pictures. But anywho, uh, I wear glasses or contacts. And, you know, from what I know, from what I know about life and the world, the world's not blurry. But to me, you know, without my glasses or my contacts, the world really looks blurry to me. I mean, it's, it's not it's not terrible, uh, but you know, yeah, everything's got a little blur because well, my vision's a little off. And and if you've ever worn glasses, you know, of any kind, you know, contacts or glasses, then then you know, actually, I guess sunglasses too, you know, possibly. Yeah. And you know that after you wear them for a while, you really don't notice them as much. It seems like they just kind of fade away because you're so used to them and you're so used to wearing them that it just kind of becomes a part of, of who you are and, and how things are. The, the, the thing is, though, even after you're really used to them and you don't notice them, they still change how you see the world. Now, I, I like wearing my glasses uh, because, well, the world's clear to me now. You know, now everything's not blurry. It's clear. It, it, but my glasses, they shape how I see everything. Now, the world didn't change, or it doesn't change when I put the glasses on. It's just how I see it. How I see it has changed. Now, if you don't wear glasses, maybe this isn't, isn't hitting home for you, but uh, what about, uh, have you ever heard, maybe you've heard the expression, you know, somebody wearing rose-colored cl- glasses, when they're just going through, li- it's kind of like when they're going through life and, and everything's just, they, they make it out to be so much better than it is. And it's like those rose-colored glasses are shaping how they're seeing everything. Well, where am I going with this? Well, I'm going with this is that here, we're talking about your mindset being your glasses. Your mindset ends up being what, what shapes how you see life, the world, other people, circumstances, situations. Your mindset impacts how you see everything. Everything. And it's really, there's a lot of similarities between mindset and glasses. Because you, you, after a while, you know, being, being alive, having a, a set mindset, you get used to it. 
you get just like the glasses. You get used to it. it sh- they sh- your mindset shapes how you see things, and then you get used to it, and it just goes unnoticed. You don't even, you don't even notice that it's changing or, or shaping how you see things because it's always there. You know, and just like glasses, other people might see it. Other people might see how your mindset is shaping how you see things. We'll get a little bit more into that in just a second. But, you know, other people could see it, but you can't see it because you're so used to it and it's always been there for you. And it, it'll color everything that you see. Everything that you see is is colored by your mindset. You know, it shapes even how you experience life. You know, two people can have the exact same experience, be in the exact same place, have the exact same thing happen to them, but their experience and how they might perceive it, experience it, talk about it, share share it with other people, all that can be radically different because of their mindset. It's just a part of life. You know, maybe it's a maybe it's how you've always seen things. Maybe your mindset hasn't changed at all, and it's just this is just how life is. You know, but at the same time, it filters how you see life and the life that you experience. You know, it, 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 it shapes how you experience life. This is a huge thing. So can it really be a goal killer if it's something that you're stuck with? You know, you're stuck with a mindset because that's life. You know, we all have a, a mindset, a natural tendency of how we see things. All right, that's all it is. It's just it's just the natural default of how we see life, stuff, the world, experiences, everything. Just natural. So can it really be a goal killer? Well, it can be. It doesn't have to be. It can be. Let me jump in here really quick. I just got to say, goal killers stop all progress. You know, that, but that's not even the worst part about it. You know, they're tough to see when they're on you. When you're in the middle of a goal killer, it's tough to see them. But the worst part is that it's even tougher to overcome them when you're in the middle of it. It's kind of like one of those things where you can't see the forest from the trees. When you're in the middle of it, it makes it uh, difficult to see and about impossible to overcome them. But goal killers don't have to stop your progress. Because I'm creating a masterclass to help you identify goal killers and overcome them. But I need your help. I I got a lot of material together for it, but I want to make sure I'm addressing your specific needs and questions. And just for helping me out with your input, I'm going to give you free access to the masterclass. So if you'd like free access to this class, as well as to have the class answer your specific questions and address your specific needs, then just go to nickmazy.com slash GKM. That's nickmazy.com slash GKM. And all you have to do to get free access to the class when it's released is you just have to ask me any question about goal killers. What's your number one challenge, how to address, or what specifically th- that you want to learn that I can address in the class. That way it's tailored just for you. Just go to nickmazy.com slash GKM. Ask me any question related to goal killers And I'll give you free access to the class when it's released. All right. And now back to the episode. You know that that I don't want your mindset to be a goal killer for you in in your life. So let's dive a little bit more into it so that that it might not be that for you. I want you to enjoy your life. So let's make sure your mindset's going to help you to do that. So if your mindset is the glasses that that, that you see the, the world through, do you really want to wear those glasses? Are those glasses... Is your mindset helping you to live the life that you want, to enjoy life, to achieve your goals? Is it helping you or is it maybe standing in the way a little bit? See, if you're so used to it, then you might just think that's how life is. That's just how it is. Or maybe it's just been there so long that that it's just who you are. I'm doing a little air quotes. It's just who you are or thinking I can't help it. See, that's where when it's been there always and you don't notice it, that's the, e- the not gonna say, I want to say the easiest, but that is kind of the default you know, way of thinking is that it, I just can't do anything about it because that's how I am. That's, that's life. That's me. Well, uh, nowadays, you know, I could go and I could get uh, surgery and I could have my vision changed. 
you know, they, they can do some LASIK and, and do some whatever the fancy stuff that they do with that is. Uh, and, and I could probably stop wearing glasses. So, well, we can do the same thing to our mindset. You know, I'm not saying we, we took out, take out lasers and cut away and, and all that stuff, but we can shape how we see the world. It is an amazing thing. You are not stuck with it. It's not just who you are. And, and honestly, you don't have to give up a whole lot of what makes you you just to shape the mindset so that it serves you better. Like a lot of the material I got and a lot of the purposes podcast is to help you take small steps, one small thing at a time, so that you can guide your life to go where you want it to go. Well, I want you to think of the same way about, about that mindset. You know, you can shape it, and it's not about changing it all instantly so that everything's magically different all at once. No, but you can shape it just a little bit so that it helps you to lead the life that you want. Well, think about claiming your power. It's all about claiming your power. Think about claiming your power to choose your mindset, to choose how you want to see things so that it can actually help you to do what you want to do and live the life that you want to live, experience the things you want to experience, to just to make life what you want. Imagine shaping your mindset like one, like one small thing at a time, one small step at a time, just shaping that mindset so it's just a little bit more how you want it to be. Well, what kind of mindset you know, are just kind of out there? Uh, this might kind of help you see a, a little bit more. There's a whole lot of different kind of mindsets. And like I said, the mindset is just the default way of seeing things. And you may have heard of uh, abundance or scarcity. Uh, and if, if you have or haven't, uh, abundance is just that you see that there's plenty for everybody. You know, and that you, you got to work to achieve what you want to achieve, but there's enough to go around as long as you're willing to put in the work. Scarcity mindset is saying that that there's there's not enough for everybody. That is, uh, I have to take in or, away from somebody else in order to get what I want. And kind of imagine these as as a big long line, and you have uh, abundance on one side and scarcity on the other. A lot of us just fall somewhere on that line. Maybe not on the very end of one side or the other, but somewhere on that line. And you also have a mindset of being blessed. Like you just appreciate the, the things that you have and, and that they appreciate the good things and that you really do feel like, you know, life is good, that you have enough. Uh, it doesn't mean that you have everything, but, but just that you feel blessed. And then the other side is, is that, that you're missing out, that, that you just don't have enough, you know, personally and that you weren't blessed and that, and that you're missing out. This is kind of a lot of where the, the fear of missing out FOMO, you know, it might be on this side. Uh, and, and that's just, the kind of default way of seeing things. Now, you also have a, a growth versus fixed mindset. Uh, and you may have heard this from uh, Carol Dweck. I think she wrote an amazing book called Mindset. Uh, it, it's awesome. Uh, but she talks about the growth versus fixed mindset. You know, growth being that, that you're always able to change and improve and get better uh, and, and that you're growing. Uh, and that uh, fixed. It's more like uh, you were born how you were born. This is how it is. These are the skills and abilities I was born with, and it's fixed. It's not changing. So those are kind of two ends of, of, of a different spectrum for mindset. And we also have positive and negative, and that's just seeing things in a more positive way, like things are good, and a more negative of seeing, uh, you know, kind of what's wrong with the situation and what needs to be changed. I'm not here to say that any of those mindsets are, are bad or this, these ones are good or these ones are things you have to do. I want you to think, is the mindset that you have serving you? Is it helping you to live the life that you want? Is it helping you experience the things you want to experience and, and enjoy life? If not, then it might be time to, to change and shift it just a little bit and see if it starts to work for you better. Simple way to do this is there's two things. There's two things. What you say and what you put into your mind. These are two massive ways that you can shift your, your, your mindset. And they're pretty simple. You know, what you say, what you say to yourself and what you say to other people. You know, the self-talk, what you say to yourself, it is so important. I've done a, a, a fair number of, of podcast episodes and, and blog posts about it. Self-talk, it's huge. It's the most important words that you're going to say are the words you tell yourself because you're going to believe them. It, it, it's huge. The more you tell yourself something, the more you believe it, and the more it shapes your thoughts and your mindset. Also, what you tell to other people, uh, because those are the words that are coming out of your mouth, and you're, you're hearing them too. Uh, and then, 
No. It, it impacts how we think. So what you say and then what you put into your mind. You know, what you put into your mind is going to affect your mind. It, of course it is. You know, imagine, imagine a glass of water. Imagine a glass of crystal clear water. Uh, and it's a clear glass. And you're looking through that glass. And if you're looking through a glass of clear water, then the world looks clear. Yeah, okay. Then imagine pouring some muddy water into that glass. And then now looking through that glass. The world, the world's no longer clear. The world looks muddy. But the world didn't change. It was the muddy water, it was the junk that we put into the glass that changed the glass that we see the world through. When you put junk into your mind, it's going to shape how you see the world. It's time to pour some clean, clean water, some good stuff, some good, positive, clean water into that glass of your mindset so that you can see the world in a way that's going to help you to, to, to live the life that you want. So I want to ask you this. What kind of water are you pouring into your glass? Is your mindset helping you to live the life that you want? If not, well, maybe make a little bit of a shift. Take, do one small thing at a time. Take one small step and shift that mindset. You, know, you can do it by what you say and what you put into your mind so that it serves you more, so that it helps you to live the life that you want. You can do it. You can do it. It's going to take some work and some time and some effort, but that's okay. This is your life. All the hard work and effort that you put into your life being more how you want it to be, you're the one that gets all the benefits of that. That's the best part about it is you get the benefits for the work that you do. If you have any questions or, or if you have any questions, send me all of your questions uh, about goal killers or, or areas that you want me to dive more into about goal killers so I can you know, craft some of this material so that it serves you better. I am trying to create uh, this uh, goal killer mastermind kind of video series, uh, and I, I, want, I want to give it to you. So just go to nickmazy.com slash GKM and ask me anything about goal killers. Uh, or just say, hey, dive more into this. Whatever it is, nickmazy.com slash GKM. Ask me there. By sending your questions in there, uh, I'm going to give you free access to the master class. This is just for a limited time. So make sure you go there soon. And then uh, and next week, next week we're going to talk about another goal killer that is far, far too common. Uh, we don't, you don't want these, uh, th this goal killer to, to stop you either. So make sure you check out or you, you stay around for next week's episode. The best way to not miss the episode is to go ahead and subscribe to this podcast. All right. Well, thank you for listening and uh, take care. I can't wait to talk to you again next week.